you're in Toronto, you're probably thinking it's impossible to buy cash flowing real estate that costs less than 100k. Not the case. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. If you like what you see and you want to work with me after this show, I suggest you send an email to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your number. We'll work with you like I'm working with my man, Double H, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Not to be confused with international WWE heavyweight champion of the world, Triple H, the game. What a stud. No. This is Double H. It's different, folks, okay? Double H is a man from Toronto who's trying to get in the game. He's got $100,000. Now, Double H, dog, 100K, you do some damage here in the Cleveland market, dog. Man, you could do some serious damage. Toronto, I don't believe so. Now, truth be told, brother, I don't, like, know a lot about Canada, but uh, what I do know is, like, uh, is really friggin' hard on landlords, okay? And I believe the prices in real estate are, like, insane. So uh, here in America, right, like, we look at uh, California to be, like, the most ridiculous place in the world to try to be a landlord, right? Prices fucking suck, uh, very, very expensive, and you have, like, no rights. To my understanding of Canada, it's, like, worse than California, and California fucking blows. Uh, but I could be wrong, but that's, like... That's, that's like what I'm picking up, but, you know, I am by no means a Canadian real estate expert, right? Folks, if you're looking at Canadian real estate, please consult some motherfuckers out there in Canada. But if you're from Canada and you think it's very hard to be a landlord in Canada with a moderate budget like $100,000, you want to come to me like my dude Double H has done. Now, Double H, a couple things I want to talk to you about, brother. You are looking for B-grade properties, right? B-grade single families. That's what you want to get. Got those for you. As a matter of fact, I got one identified that we're going to go over. Everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. Show you the proper bid I think you should make, right? But before we get into that, I want to talk about a couple other things for you here. Uh, you had asked me about RPM services, right? Because you're in Canada. It would obviously be very hard for you to manage this property from Canada, right? We do it all, brother. Property management, maintenance, construction, rental property insurance, leasing, screening, all of it. Now, you had asked me some questions about how it all works. Man, what I would like you to do is check out our FAQ on HoltonWise.com. I have a full property management FAQ there for you. If you're one of those dudes that likes to read, we got questions and we got answers typed out. If you like the video format, well, guess what? We answered them via video as well. You get several members of my property management team talking to you about pretty much any and all questions you could have. In addition, we have a downloadable PDF copy of our property management agreement, right? It's out there. It's for your consumption, so you can see every single dollar that we will charge you. And if you're a competitor and you're trying to start your own property management business if you'd like to steal my property management agreement well there you go folks go to holtonwise.com check out the fact it's available for your download or your piracy right so that is that in addition uh double h <clears throat> you got one video for me which is cool that's a great way to start it starts off our relationship but what you have to understand is to get the properties and to get them for the right price this is a numbers game, bro. I mean, you're an investor. You got three properties in Toronto, you said. So I'm assuming you're just dipping your toe in the water, right? You're just like, yo, what's up with this James guy? Let me see how this whole video process works, working with his team works. I understand that, right? Uh, my advice to you would be to get one of the larger packages, probably the 10-pack. I, of course, discount the price per video much lower for you because – I want you to get the 10 pack. It's the best way uh, for us to serve you because with investing to get these properties at the prices we need to get them, not every deal goes through, right? There's a whole bunch of investors coming from all over the world looking at these properties, number one. Number two, and you're going to see this in the analysis of the other property later in the show here, 
I don't want to sell you the property for the price the seller wants, right? I work for you. I don't work for the seller. I want you to get the property at the right price. And because of that, some of the time we're going to be shooting off lowball offers. Now, I know a lot of agents don't like to put in lowball offers for you guys. I understand, right? They only get paid when the deal closes, right? So they know a lowball offer has a lower chance of closing. So they're going to try to push you up, try to get you as close to list price as possible so they can get a paycheck. That makes sense. That's why I created this whole format, right? To really serve the customer. You pay up front, and then you get my unbiased opinion, right? I'm getting paid either way, so I'm here to make sure you get it for the right price. So because of that, not all deals are going to go through. Sometimes, you know, you know, it's like fishing, dog. You got to put a lot more uh, lines in the water to catch more fish. You know what I'm saying? So you probably want to check that out, uh, get some more packages so we can really build up this portfolio for you. And then the last thing I want to say before I get into my analysis of the property is you should check out my other show, the Investment Properties for Sale show. I have several single family homes that I think will fit your criteria. Now, you ordered a, a paid video for me, so I'm not going to analyze one of those for you, right? That's not what this is about, right? This show, I work for you and you alone. So the property I found for you that I'm analyzing in today's show is on the MLS. I'm not being paid by that seller. I am working for you and you alone. But I have properties that sellers have hired me to sell on that show that I think also fall in line with your criteria. So no pressure for you to buy those, but if it doesn't pan out with this one or maybe you don't end up getting a 10 pack for me, I think these ones are worth a look. So I'm going to go ahead and link to those in the show notes below. And what I want to do now is go to a quick commercial break, grab a drink of water. Then I'm going to get into the numbers on this B grade single family that I think is going to make sense for your first investment in Cleveland. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini because this is America. That's why land of the free home of the brave the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and connect with motivated sellers nationwide. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers on this one. This one just hit the market. So we're probably going to have to be kind of patient on this one because I think we need the market to help us out a little bit, right? 13305 Havana Road, Garfield Heights, 44125. Priced at 99 grand. Literally hit the market today. One day on the market, $91.67 a square foot, which is ridiculously cheap. But the property's not ridiculously cheap, right? This is a pretty solid B grade neighborhood, but 99.9 is too much. I can't have you spending 99. I want to fit you with the right property at the right price 99.9 is not the right price right so do i think uh the offer that i think we should make will get accepted tomorrow no probably not right a day on the market i don't think they're coming in with a huge price drop but i do not believe anybody's going to pay 99 and if they do they definitely don't watch this show because they overpaid by at least twenty five thousand dollars, right so you don't want to do that okay you don't want to overpay. So I think we should make our offer. The offer I think we should make is going to be 70 k I think 70 k is a solid starting bid, right? That's $30,000 less, well, $29,000 less than what they're asking. Do I think they're going to come down in a day? No, probably not. But like three weeks later, four weeks later, five weeks later, six weeks later, they might start to think, oh, man, maybe we screwed up. 99 isn't the price, right? And this is a pretty nice house. We just have to get it at the right price, right? And that just happens to be 70K, right? Nice little uh, landscape and tenant takes pretty good care of this thing. Okay, the inside, it's looking pretty good, right? Neutral decor, nothing special here, just your standard little B-grade rental property in Garfield Heights, nice, safe little city, right? As far as rent goes, the tenant, they're paying 900 plus all utilities, right? So what that's really going to translate to is 975. You see, if you look at your fixed and variable expense chart, if you scroll down, you see right there, water and sewer, $75, right? We're going to want you to charge the tenant 975 and pay their water sewer whereas currently right now they're charging the current it's like a mom and pop owner they're charging the tenant 900 and they're paying the water and sewer for the tenant right i know you're probably watching it's like dude this makes no sense why wouldn't i just do what this guy's doing 
I hear you. I would love it if we could do that. Unfortunately, in the Cleveland market, you can't pass the water bill onto the tenant in an effective manner, right? Anybody who's doing so like this person, it just shows they don't understand how the rental market works in Cleveland. They don't understand the landlord-tenant laws. They don't understand the policies of the Cleveland Division of Water, who is the water utility for this particular house, right? The water will remain in your name and will remain your responsibility whether or not you have the tenant agreeing to pay you back. And when you go to evict the tenant, if they don't pay for the water bill, it, it becomes very hard because you can't actually like evict people for like a, a partial payment of rent. So if they paid their rent, but they didn't pay that, the whole thing gets screwy and it's going to put you in a position where you can't really evict the tenant if he starts trying to screw you over. As a matter of fact, it's so confusing and so many new investors are like, what the hell are you talking about? If you go to HoltonWise.com, click on our property management fact, I've actually devoted an entire section of that fact to uh, why we have landlords pay the water sewer bill, how the eviction works, how the billing works, all that jazz, right? So if you're confused by this, which you probably are because <laughs> it's fucking confusing, man, I want you to check out the fact, property management fact on HoltonWise.com. We explain why the only uh, logistical, logistically sound, logical way to do things is for you to build the water sewer costs into the rent, right? Thus giving us that 975, right? So 975, that's 117 for the year. After all your fixed and variable expense estimates, right? I'm expecting you to pull off a clear NOI of just over four grand. If you pay 70, you get a normal traditional 30 year residential loan. You're only putting in 17 and a half. This should pencil out to a solid 9% cash on cash return, right? 9% for a very low risk, simple property, folks. This is not like a sexy deal by any means. It's just like another notch in the belt. You only put in 17K and you make almost 10% return on your money. You keep on chugging. Nice, safe, sound investment. But remember, it's not going to happen overnight because I don't think. You can pay any more than 75, right? I would like you to pick it up at 70. You can go up to 75, in my opinion. But you sure as hell can't pay 99 because if you pay 99, that's too much, right? So what I think is going to happen is the seller is probably going to reject the offer at first. But you know what? Six months down the road, six weeks down the road, rather. Uh, hell, could could be six months, but I, I bet sooner than six months they'll realize Nobody on the market is paying 99 for this property, right? We're going to let that market beat up the seller for us, and they might come back to us. This is a numbers game, folks. More often than not, when properties are overpriced, eventually the sellers come to that realization, or they don't, and they're just not motivated to sell. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.